welcome to the channel if you're new here. I'm John Cordy, I play guitar sometimes. Um, Mondays I try to look at some sort of lick that caught my attention or you know something that I'm practicing, that sort of thing. Um, so yesterday String Prodigy said all I want to see is you trying to play over Whippersnapper, a tune by Wayne Krantz, which I hadn't heard but I heard it yesterday and there was this one line, two lines actually, but I've only had time to really work out this one line so I just wanted to show you what's going on with it. Um, this tune, if you haven't listened to it, is kind of brutal. <laughs> Wayne Krantz's timing is deadly and his lines are really cool, so definitely one worth checking out if you're into the fusion-y, jazzy stuff, as well as his tone being super cool. So we're in kind of a little D minor, kind of vamp for this, maybe D Dorian. And you heard me playing it a little bit in the start there. So what's cool about this lick is that it kind of starts on the second semiquaver, so if we're imagining we've got 16th notes, you've got a 1E and a, we start on the E. So quite difficult to, to pick that out timing wise, but I'll just show you as well some of the things that I've done to try and place the lick. So the lick goes like this. That's the very first line. So we're kind of outlining a D minor arpeggio with an added 9, which we start on this E. So I would start that with an upstroke. And you could even just take this, this is what I've been practicing, so you kind of just take this start that they can just practice placing that with the backing track. Three, four, one. Four, one. Four, one. Four. And then we have this. So then like an E minor triad, E minor 7 triad, descending, so D, B, G, E, D, and I guess that's quite a common thing to play over a D minor kind of D Dorian sound, so you could have like a triad pairs of the D minor. Try that out I guess, so a D minor, E minor triad pair in a D Dorian context works really nicely. And then I think what grabbed my ear a lot that's basically how the line ends. Just a really nice rhythmic end and so building off the A Yeah, this is what I really like about kind of Wayne's playing as I've just discovered it. It's got this really strong rhythmic aspect to it. Just a really cool line, so with a bit more gain. So that's the line, and you can get a tab for that. But let's try this. So one, two, three, four. So pick your metronome for one, two, three, four, one. Four, one, four, one, four, one. one. So I'm in my head, I'm kind of going uh, anticipating one, four, one. Two, one. So obviously you start this at a slower pace, and I'll put up the backing track on Patreon in two speeds, I guess. Four, one. Four, one. One. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one. But yeah, really tricky to place it. But a really cool line, I think. And I'm gonna, I think, break apart one other line from this tune at some point. But I just love the way it sounded and I love that kind of rhythmic phrasing. Up to you how you kind of decide to pick it. I'm trying to do a bit more alternate picking with it. Especially the bits like. 
like my instinct would be to kind of legato that. But I think it has a bit more rhythmic punch if you certainly pick some of it. But yeah, that's the line. So just one more time slowly. So ascending up through a D minor kind of nine arpeggio. Chromatic up to the G. Then an E minor arpeggio. And then that little chromatic chromaticism at the end. I think that's it. To me it also reminds me a bit of Josh Redman, sax player. But anyway, that's just what I've picked out this morning that I really like the sound of. I'll put the backing track up for you so you can have a go at it. And here you'll see some improvising from me trying to place this. And this is kind of the way that I practice this kind of line. So not just improvising, so do a bit of improvising and then try and drop that line in so that it becomes part of your playing. And you're trying to kind of place it on the beat and feel kind of natural placing it. That's kind of the trick with some of these licks. Uh, if you're learning a lot of licks or if you're learning licks full stop, trying to place them without them sounding like you've suddenly gone to something prepared or you know, in a way that's not super jarring. That's what I'm working on trying to do. So when I'm practicing the lick, I'm trying to place it and play it accurately, and then I'm trying to improvise around it. Um, but that's just that. If you wanted to get the tab and the backing track, you could join up on Patreon, but only do that uh, tomorrow. Don't do it today, because you'll get charged tomorrow anyway, so just wait a few hours. Uh, if you've got anything useful out of this, there's a Buy Me A Coffee link, just in case you wanted to, but don't feel obliged to do that. Um, uh, but most of all, if you could like and subscribe, leave a comment if you've got any other Wayne Krantz tunes that I should be checking out. But I'll catch you in a little bit. Cheers! Thank you.